called Bird Hill. Yeah, oh, he was a lovely guy, actually. An ugly fucker, but really nice man. Yeah, he was solid, loving, dependable, and he had hair like a brush and awful, awful teeth. <laughs> no, no, yeah, he was. He was just ugly. Yeah, but I was happy, you know, because he put up with all of my angst and he was happy because he was going out with a fucking ride like me. Anyways, we were at this place called the Press Club and he was talking to this woman who was the ugliest woman I have ever seen. She was so ugly, she could have been his twin. But I get paranoid or I think she's after him. So now I'm basically standing in the middle of the street and I'm shouting, you, you're talking to that and then you're going out with me. Look at me. Look at what I can bring to the table. I do not remember much about that night. <laughs> but I, but I am, um, I do remember that I, I lifted my top and I exposed my breasts to everyone walking by. This, this group of, of fellas walk past like lads, you know, they're all, yes. <laughs> so I, I pull my trousers down and my knickers and I display myself. I, I, I am paralytic, right? And I look back at Paul. He is horrified. He wants to cry, but he doesn't know how anymore. I look back at these, these fellas, these lads, and they are all still laughing and staring. But one of them isn't staring at all. One of them is looking right into my eyes and I know what he's saying. I know what he's thinking. So I kiss him right there in front of all of his friends and in front of Paul fucking Birdhill. And now I'm feeling self-conscious because all I can taste is the chilli sauce from his doner kebab and I am waiting for Paul to split us apart but nothing happens. I just slobber into this empty, vacuous lad and nobody stops me. I want Paul to stop me. I want Paul to save me. But there is no Paul. There's just an empty space. That is all I remember. I woke up the next morning beside the guy. I, I don't know, I was still drunk. I had no money, no phone, just some chewing gum. I chewed and I walked for miles. The sun was shining, but it, it was cold and, and wet. I sweated, I vomited, I cried. And you just, I'm on my knees in the car park and I am throwing up and I am crying all at the same time. And <laughs> you know, this, this, this is the worst part. I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. I prayed. I prayed to a non-existent God. Help me. God. Jesus, even fucking Muhammad, just help me. Help me. Please. So I made a deal. I will keep walking until I find a church or a cash machine. If I find a church, I'll get help. If I find a cash machine, I will get drunk. And if I find neither, then I will just have to kill myself. <laughs> I did find a cash machine, but it wasn't working. <laughs>